you're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science-backed, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I'm Santa, your host. Today, we're kicking off a new podcast series on the most important words ever uttered. One of the main skills that differentiates us from our four-legged furry friends is the ability to use words and speak. It has not been easy as it has taken us eons to get to where we are at today in our speech processes. I wondered what is the first known words to appear in human history, but unfortunately, linguists, archeologists, and historians don't seem to have an answer. While it is challenging to pinpoint the exact words spoken or written by early humans, several approaches have been taken to explore the origins of human language and communication. Here are a few key points related to this topic, just to lay the groundwork. Proto-language. Language likely developed gradually over tens of thousands of years through a series of evolutionary stages. The earliest form of human communication is believed to have been a proto-language consisting of simple sounds, gestures, and vocalizations used by early humans to convey basic meanings and intentions. So probably grunting noises, I can imagine. (laughs) And we still do those, right? We still make sounds instead of using words at times. Number two, the symbolic representations. The use of symbolic representations such as cave paintings, engravings, and artifacts provide some of the earliest evidence of human expression and communication. These visual symbols predate written language and offer insights into early forms of human creativity and storytelling. And then we would have gotten to the written language. The invention of writing systems marks a significant milestone in human history, allowing for the recording and transmission of language across generations. Sumerian script, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Chinese logographics writings are among the oldest known written languages, dating back thousands of years. The earliest known written words are found in ancient texts and inscriptions from Egypt and other early civilizations. Throughout history, there have been important and impactful words uttered that have marked significant shifts in humanity. In this podcast series, we'll be exploring some of those phrases and words that can further enhance our executive and personal development and potentially impel us to reach higher and farther than ever before. Let's start with one of the most iconic and legendary phrases ever uttered on American soil. Give me liberty or give me death. A famous declaration made by American revolutionary Patrick Henry in 1775, calling for the ultimate sacrifice in the pursuit of freedom and independence from British colonial rule. This phrase embodies the spirit of defiance and courage in the face of tyranny. Give me liberty or give me death is a famous phrase that was uttered during Patrick Henry's speech to the Second Virginia Convention. At the time, tensions between the American colonies and the British government were escalating, leading to the brink of armed conflict. In his speech, Patrick Henry passionately argued for the colonies to mobilize and prepare for war against British tyranny. He emphasized that the only path to true freedom and independence was through decisive action, even if it meant risking everything, including one's life. The phrase encapsulates Henry's unwavering commitment to the cause of liberty and his readiness to make the ultimate sacrifice in its pursuit. By invoking the stark choice between liberty and death, Henry sought to galvanize his audience and inspire them to stand firm in their resolve against British oppression. The phrase embodies a spirit of defiance, courage, and determination in the face of tyranny, encapsulating the fervor and urgency of the revolutionary movement in America. Give me liberty or give me death 
has since become a rallying cry for freedom fighters and advocates of self-determination around the world. It stands as a powerful symbol of the willingness to make sacrifices for the greater good and the enduring quest for liberty, justice, and human rights in the face of oppression and injustice. Historical accounts and documents provide insights into the impact and aftermath of Patrick Henry's famous speech at the Second Virginia Convention in 1775. Various individuals who were present at the Second Virginia Convention written or verbal recollections of Patrick Henry's speech. These accounts describe the electrifying effect his words had on the audience with some noting that his passionate call to arms stirred strong emotions and galvanized resolve among the delegates. And the sense of urgency it instilled in the minds of the delegates were highlighted. The speech is deemed significant by historians in mobilizing support for independence and influencing the course of the revolutionary movement. Subsequent actions and resolutions following the speech at the Second Virginia Convention took several important actions, including resolutions to raise and train a militia as tensions with the British escalated. The delegates' response to Henry's speech as reflected in their decisions and actions underscores the impact his words had on shaping their attitudes and guiding their subsequent actions leading us to the Revolutionary War. Because this is a personal development podcast, allow me to provide six takeaways from Patrick Henry's speech and phrase, give me liberty or give me death, that can be applied to personal and executive development. Number one, courage in the face of adversity. Patrick Henry's unwavering commitment to the cause of liberty and his readiness to face the ultimate sacrifice demonstrates the importance of courage in challenging situations. In personal and professional development, embracing courage can help us tackle difficult decisions, navigate uncertainties, and pursue goals despite obstacles. Number two, clarity of purpose. Henry's clear and passionate articulation of his beliefs reflects the power of having a strong sense of purpose. By defining one's core values and goals with clarity, we can stay focused, motivated, and resilient in the face of challenges or distractions. Number three, commitment to principles. The phrase underscores the importance of standing firm in one's convictions and principles. Personal and executive development benefit from a commitment to ethical values, integrity, and doing what is right, even in the face of opposition and adversity. Number four, taking decisive action. Henry's call for action encourages proactive decision-making and taking bold steps towards one's objectives. By embracing a mindset of decisiveness and initiative, we can drive progress, overcome inertia, and achieve meaningful results in our personal and professional pursuits. Number five, embracing change and risk. The willingness to risk everything for a greater cause highlights the importance of embracing change and calculated risks in personal and executive development. By stepping out of comfort zones, embracing challenges, and being open to new opportunities, we can foster growth, innovation, and resilience. Lastly, inspiring and motivating others. Henry's impassioned speech exemplifies the power of effective communication in inspiring and influencing others. In personal and executive development, honing communication skills, crafting compelling messages, and inspiring others with a clear vision can foster engagement, collaboration, and collective action towards shared goals. By reflecting on the principles encapsulated in Patrick Henry's speech and phrase, We can draw inspiration and guidance for personal growth, leadership development, and navigating challenges with courage, clarity, and 
purpose. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all 169 podcast episodes and counting on my blog, tothisfirst.life. You can also sign up for my new weekly newsletter, which will help you get your week started on a positive note and updates on coaching, books, merch, and my public speaking engagements as they become available. Tomorrow, we'll continue with installment number two until tomorrow. Moving past the rain, moving past the pain, or past the color blue. I see power in you. Pass well to down. Look around, they can't be found. I see, I see, I see, I see a champion in you. Champion.